Hi everyone, I'm Robin Crouch and I'm really excited you're taking the time to watch this presentation on essential oils. I'm hoping to offer you some great information on how you can use essential oils to incorporate into your household to help improve your health and your family's health. So I'm going to make myself a little smaller down here. If you have any questions as we go along, feel free to put them in the chat box. If you want to just directly email you, excuse me, email me, you're more than welcome to do that. Uh, you could also email or call the person who invited you to watch this webinar. Most likely they are, we are part of a team, so any of us can really help you with any of these questions. So just as a little disclaimer, we are not here to treat any disease, diagnose anything. Um, you know, these statements are my personal experience with essential oils. They are not evaluated by the FDA, so you can really do your own information. But if you have any serious health issues, please see a healthcare professional um, to deal with those issues. So like I said, we'll be talking about essential oils and how they may maintain or improve the health of your family. What are essential oils? Well, essential oils are the volatile substances from plants, whether it be the leaves, the stems, the flower, the fruit, the peel. All this plant material is taken and put in a distillery and the essential oils are extracted from the plants. So most medications are actually taken from the idea of plant substances. So they chemically make them in the lab. So essential oils are the actual constituents of these natural chemicals that can be used to aid in our health. So there are all these plant matters are taken, they're distilled, and they create the oil. So it's not like that greasy kind of oil that you think about. Um, essential oils generally are are not greasy. It's more um, like olive oil and coconut oil. Those are the kind of greasy oils that most of us think of. But essential oils are just the plant substances that are distilled through different methods to take out the extract in essence of the essential oil. Well, a lot of times people say, why can't I just go to Home Goods and buy essential oils? Well, they may cost a lot less, but you're not really getting high quality oils. And there are actually four different grades of essential oils. There's um, synthetic or nature derived oils, which are in a lot of um, hair care products, skin care products that really are chemically made to smell like an oil, an essential oil, or like a plant. Um, so when you look at the back, it's usually artificially made. Um, obviously those can have quite a bit of toxins in it that you put on your skin you really don't want it goes into your bloodstream you really don't want that then there's extended or altered oils and those are generally fragrance grade so they're not pure and then we have natural and organic oils which pass oil standards but may not contain um, all the therapeutic compounds and they could also be mixed with other things to you know make the bottle bigger, in essence making the oil less expensive, and that's generally why those oils are less expensive, because they're not the pure oil. They're generally mixed with something to extend the oil. And then there's therapeutic grade oils, which are pure medicinal. Um, they're steam distilled, and they have um, the desired therapeutic compounds that we're looking for in essential oils. So again, there's several different grades of oils, and obviously you want to use the best oil that you possibly can. So the company that I choose to work with um, and the person who invited you to this webinar chose to work with is Young Living. And the reason for this is because of Young Living's seed to seal promise. So they take their organic seeds, they cultivate it on their land. If it's not their land, they contract out the land and they're actually creating jobs for many farmers. They distill the oil, they test it, they have an, uh, a third party test it, and then it's sealed and then it's sent to your door. So it goes from the organic seed process all the way to the seal process. They don't get the oils from other sources. They don't contract out other sources to make their oil. It's all their product. There are several different ways that we can use essential oils. We can use them aromatically, we can use them topically, or we can use them dietary. Aromatically is probably my favorite way to use essential oils. 
our sense of smell is the only sense that goes directly to the brain and the part of the brain that it goes to is the limbic system and the limbic system is dealing with emotional center and the memory of in the brain so it's kind of like you know you smell those chocolate chip cookies cooking and like if you had a good childhood it brings you back to your childhood that's because it's in your limbic system the memory center and emotional center of the brain so when we use essential oils aromatically it gets directly to the brain so whatever calming or invigorating component, chemical component of the essential oil, it's gonna go straight to the brain and affect how we feel, which I think is pretty cool. So those particles, which a lot of essential oils have, are sequesterpines, and these um, help to oxygenate the brain when you inhale them, and it, it excites the limbic system and either calms it down or or increases the awareness and you can have a calming sense. So some of these oils that have sequesterpines are cedarwood, sandalwood, and vetiver. So ways that you can use um, the oils aromatically is you could take your diffuser, sorry, I just wanna make sure I get it in the camera, and you would put water in there and then you would add five to eight drops of whatever oil or oils that you want to, and then you turn the diffuser on and it spreads throughout the room and your house, and you can take those in aromatically that way. Other way you can do aromatically is you can open a bottle and just sniff right from the bottle. This happens to be Stress Away, which is one of my favorites. And then you could also put a drop on your palm. Rub your hands together. and inhale the oil. It's a great way to do that. I also like to wear a leather bracelet. Um, you can use some lava beads too and you could put a drop of the essential oil on the bracelet and all day long you have the aromatic um, oil. So that's how you can use it aromatically. You can also use the oils topically. So topically meaning on your skin. Another reason why you want to use very good um, essential oils if you're going to use them topically. So I happen to use a carrier oil with my oils and I like to use um, fraction coconut oil so it doesn't get hard at when it's chilly out. Um, so you can use a number of different, you can use olive oil, you can use grapeseed oil. Um, you don't want to use any crappy oil so you don't want to, obviously you don't want to use like Crisco or um, you know some kind of not so great vegetable oil. If you're not going to ingest it, you probably shouldn't put it on your skin. Um, Young Living makes a great V6 oil that you can also get, um, but I happen to like the fraction coconut oil. I also use jojoba oil often as well. Um, so what you can do with that is you can pour a couple of drops of whatever oil in your hand, and then you can pour whatever oil you want and rub it on your skin. You could do it that way. I happen to like to make little roller balls and you can get these um, on Amazon. They make all different kinds. This happens to be a small version of them. And you fill whatever oil, carrier oil you're using pretty close to the top. And then you can put in a couple of drops, five drops, 10 drops of the essential oil of your choice. And you can mix them. You know, you can create your own blends great place to get some of that information is on Pinterest. You can look. Um, if you wind up buying a kit, we give you access to an unbelievable Facebook page where you can ask questions and get some great ideas on what you're trying to work on and how you could use those. And then you put the cover on the roller ball and then you can roll it on your skin. You know, you can put it on your belly, wherever you need to put it on the back of your neck. Whoops. So that's how you can use that topically. Um, the the starter kit, premium starter kit, comes with one of these. They call it a Fitment, and uh, oftentimes I suggest putting it either on Stress Away or on Pan Away, which is for supporting muscle pain. Um, and you put it right on the the top of the bottle, just like you did with the roller ball, and then you could roll it on whatever area of the body you would like. So the reason that topical application is great is because our skin, which is the biggest organ in our body, things get absorbed into our skin and then go into our bloodstream. So then they could affect 
our digestive system, our cardiovascular system, our lymph, our our muscles, our joints, desalcification, respiratory, um, which is another reason why it's so important to use high quality oils. And as a side note, why it's so important to use natural products on your skin, on your hair, um, on your clothing, in you know your cleaning supplies, because all that stuff goes into your skin and then goes into your blood supply. So if you're using those kind of things with a lot of toxic chemicals, that stuff is getting into your system, but that's a whole other lecture in itself. So a great place to put, whoop, sorry. <laughs> a great, sorry guys. A great place to put the essential oils is on the bottom of your feet. Um, most people have heard of reflexology and we have reflex points on the bottom of our feet. So each area of the foot correlates to different systems in the body. So it's a great place to affect the body using the bottom of the feet. So again, here's what a rollerball looks like with some different carrier oils that you can use. Then we have internally. So how do we take essential oils internally? So like I said again before, um, you want to make sure that it's a pure essential oil. And um, Young Living now has a Vitality line. And all the bottles that are labeled Vitality are ingestible, meaning that they are like a dietary supplement. So other essential oils, you, if you can't put it on your skin, if you can't drink it, I'm, I don't know why you would want to breathe it either. But that's just my personal opinion. Um, but you want to make sure that any oil that you are using is very high quality grade if you were going to ingest it. So how do I ingest them? Well, there's several ways you could do it. You can use it in your cooking. Um, so there are oil like oregano, marjoram, all that stuff you can use in cooking. Lemon, all of them you can use in cooking. Lemongrass is really good. I like to put it in my chicken soup. It makes it really yummy. It tastes like Thai soup. So here I have a little glass of water. And here I have some lemon vitality. And I'm just going to put a drop in my water. So the difference between lemon, and we'll talk about it again probably. It's coming out. There's not much in there. There it goes. Um, the difference between... The lemon oil, and where a lot of people drink hot water with lemon, is the lemon oil is actually made from the rind of the oil. So you're getting the lemonine properties of the lemon into your whatever you're putting it in. Um, so then take a sip, I'll take a sip. So we're here. It makes it taste lemony. I really like to do that when I'm out in like a restaurant, add some lemon to the water. So like I said, you can use it in cooking. Um, you can also make your own capsules. So if you're wanting to support your digestion, there's a particular blend called Digize. You could take a drop of the Digize and put it in a capsule with a carrier oil and take it internally. Um, you could also do that with peppermint. You can do it with any of the vitality oils that you want, um, depending on what you're trying to support in your body. You can make capsules, and I you can get the capsules directly from Young Living, or you can get them from Amazon, as Amazon has some capsules also, but I just make sure that you get um, non-GMO capsules. Another great thing to do is to put it in tea, or you can put it directly in honey. Um, one of the immune support oils, Thieves, is really great to put a couple of drops or a drop on a teaspoon of honey and, you know, drink it down right away. It happens to be pretty yummy. I like to put the Thieves in my smoothie in the morning um, to really support my immune system, since, especially this time of year. So here are some ideas on what you can do, what combinations that you can use to help to support your health. Um, this happens to be the home diffuser over here. Um, this is what you can get is if you get a starter kit or you can get this one, um, which you saw. This is a dew drop. So you could see here there are some combinations. There's a combination for some allergy relief. There's immune boosting. Um, for sleep support, you know, just to uplift your mood. There's tons and tons of different combinations that you can do. And not every oil is for every person. So something that works for me might not work so great for you. So there's so many different oils that sometimes you kind of have to try to see what might be the best oil for you. 
some of the other great ways you can use the essential oils is you can use it for cleaning. So I happen to use a steam mop and I like to take thieves and put it in my steam mop and use that to clean the floor. It really, it not only does it make the house smell great, but it helps to clean and purify the floor and you know whatever's floating around there also. You can use it with your pets. Um, you can even put you know a little squirt in a water bottle squirter um, with lavender and spray it on your cat's bed so it can help you know soothe them, calm them. The same thing with purification which we'll talk about in a little bit. It's really good, gets rid of odors. Um, peppermint is awesome for bugs. Um, we particularly get a certain time of year, we get ants, the peppermint really works. I live on a nature preserve and we do get mice sometimes. My cats do not do their job. They sit there and stare um, at the cabinet because it's probably behind where the mice are. Um, so I've come to take in cotton balls. I put some peppermint on the cotton ball and I leave it in there and it's really gotten rid of the mice. We haven't had the mice in a, in a long time. Um, you can also add essential oils to your laundry. You know, if you have that uh, stinky load of sweaty laundry, you can add a little purification, a little lemon, whatever, whatever floats your boat. So I'm going to be talking about the oils that come in the premium starter kit with Young Living. And the reason I choose to do that is because these are a great place to start. Um, you get 11 oils. You get some samples. I always want to point to the screen, but you guys can't see that part. I guess I'll use the mouse. You get some samples. You get some sample bottles so you can share with some of your friends or family. You get a diffuser. Um, there's a couple choices on diffusers. And you also get these two samples of Ningxia juice, which is really great. It's a super antioxidant drink. It's like eating 59 heads of broccoli. I like to say it without the gas. So I know that even though this is a webinar, you know, most people want to be able to smell and try the oils. Um, so if you are in my neighborhood, you are more than welcome after watching this webinar to come check us out, give us, you know, a call or email us and come in and you can, you know, experience the oils um, in my office. I'd be happy to do that for, you know, for anybody who wants to do that. That way you can come kind of see what the oils are like. So lavender. Lavender is probably the most common essential oil people have heard of. It's also in a lot of different things. Um, and again, sometimes they use fake lavender. But lavender is really great um, for calming, soothing. It's great for um, putting, you can put it in your in some water you can put it in a you know a glass bottle with spritzer put some water in there and then use it as like a linen spray you can use it in your skincare um uh, someone told me about putting a couple of drops in your mascara to put on your eyelashes helps support your eyelashes it's a great for um sleeping calming just it has a real sweet calming aroma and most people have you know smell lavender i got lavender behind me then there's peppermint. Peppermint is what I was talking about before with the bugs and the mice. Peppermint is great. It's great for digestion. Um, it's one of those oils that you can ingest. It's really good for supporting um, muscle aches, for supporting um, headaches. It's one of those great ones. And it's, it's an uplifting one. It's great mixed with lemon. Wake you up a little bit. Peppermint's good. I also like to use it if I'm out and about. I have a cup of coffee. I'm gonna see some people. I'm not. I don't have a toothbrush or mouthwash, so I just put a couple of drops in my water and helps to freshen your breath. Also, lemon. When I look at my empty bottles, I have the most empty lemon bottles. It smells great. It's good for cleaning. It's very uplifting. You saw me put it in the water. Um, it's also good for your skin. It takes off sticky stuff. So many people use Goo Gone, which is pretty toxic, but you can take some lemon oil on a tissue napkin and you can just rub whatever the sticky stuff is. The other day we had, we were taking some picture stuff off a mirror and there was some tape residue. Use the lemon oil, took it right off. So lemon's another great one. It's great for um, detoxification. And that one, like I said before, is made from the rind of the fruit. 
Then we have frankincense. Frankincense is great for meditation. I like to use a little bit on my chest and my head before I do yoga. It's great to massage into your skin after any kind of activity. It's really good for your skin. It's good for boosting immunity. Um, it's really relaxing for children. Frankincense is a great one. Then we have Panaway. Panaway is great for supporting um, sore muscles, supporting head. It's kind of like Bengay smelling a little bit, but some people love it. I happen to like it. Um, that's one of the ones that I like to put in the, with the Fitbit on it so I can, you know, roll it directly on my neck or my lower back. That's a great one. I guess I'm going to say that's a great one for everyone, right? Then we have Copaiba. Copaiba is known as a magnifier, so it helps increase the effectiveness of all the other essential oils that you use. So if you're going to use Panaway in particular for muscle joints, um, Copaiba is great for that also, so it actually increases the ability for the Panaway to work. It's great for inflammation, digest digestion, it's good for your sinuses. I'm not going to say it's a great one. It's a great one. <laughs> Then we have purification. So this one is the anti-stink essential oil. Um, you're cooking broccoli, cauliflower, eggs in your kitchen, fish, and you want to get the stink out, this is a great one to put in the diffuser. Um, you could also make your own Febreze. So Febreze is pretty toxic. Remember I, I mentioned all the things that are kind of toxic. I'm going to do a class on this, I think, my, myself. Um, but we use all these cleaning supplies and all that fresh smelling stuff is actually toxic chemicals. So I think it's a great idea to really move away from using those products into more natural cleaning supplies. So purification is a great way to do that. You can use it to clean the smell in a room. It's great like Febreze. You can put it in the diffuser, get the stink out. Um, you could also use it if you want to support your immune system. You can use it externally um, in a carrier oil on, on your throat along with these, which we'll talk about. Digize, which I mentioned before. Digize is great for supporting healthy digestion. You could take it in your water. You can put it in a capsule. Um, you can use it uh, topically. You can make a roller ball. Put the oil, the carrier oil on there, you put some digize, you roll it on your belly to support digestion. Then there's RC, which I, you can only imagine how many times I make this joke. It does not stand for Robin Crouch. It's not Robin Crouch oil. It's for respiratory congestion. It helps support your respiration. It's great to use instead of Vicks Vapor Rub. So you could take some kind of lotion, oil, couple drops of RC rubbed around the chest. It acts in the same way that um, Vicks Vapor Rub would do too. So it's another great one to have in the diffuser if someone is having, uh, if someone has a cold or is having some issues breathing, allergy season. It's got three different types of eucalyptus in there. Then we have thieves which is a mixture of clove, lemon, cinnamon, eucalyptus, and rosemary. Um, this one is the most commonly heard one of Young Living is Thieves. You can use it on the bottom of the feet with a carrier oil um, to relieve cold and flu symptoms. You could add it to water and gargle if you have a sore throat. You can use it in the air to kill anything airborne. Um, you could put drops in the pedicure tub that when you go to get your pedicure done just to kind of kill anything in the in the pedicure pedicure tub you could put it on the roof of your mouth if you have a headache um this oil is pretty awesome um you can take it i take it straight up if i know some people around me just to kind of support my immune system and like i said i use it in um the steam mop that i use so when i clean the floor I generally put the thieves in there and I actually I'm a chiropractor and I actually take some and I put it um, in some water and a paper towel and that's how I wipe down my chiropractic tables too 
And just as a side note, Young Living makes a thieves uh, cleaner. They make laundry detergent. All they have a whole line of cleaning stuff. But that natural cleaner is probably the best natural cleaner I've ever used. And I probably have tried, you know, almost every one that there is out there. But that stuff works amazing. And we have Stress Away, um, which is what I used before on my hand, on my on my bracelet. This one is Stress Away. It's literally Stress Away in a bottle. It smells so good too. It's got lime, vanilla, copaiba, lavender. Um, I happen to love this one. And this picture just, it's what it feels like when you put it on. You're, you're getting out of the, the grind and just really soothing and relaxing. And then I mentioned about the Ningxia, and this stuff is amazing red energy drink. I use it instead of my 4 o'clock coffee, so I'll have a shot of Ningxia. You only need one ounce, and it has all these amazing ingredients. I don't think I'm going to move my face over here. It does probably weird. Um, it has all these different ingredients in it. It tastes great. Um, you get two sample packets in the Young Living Starter Kit. I'm going to move myself back over here. So if you don't already have the premium starter kit, because I know a lot of people who have purchased one um, are now watching this presentation as well. But if you don't have one, or if you want to share your amazing oils with someone, you want someone else to get one, the premium starter kit is $160. It's about $300 worth of oils and the diffuser. So you get the 11 oils that we talked about. And then you also get um, the samples of the Ningxia. You get the diffuser. There's a couple of upgrades if you wanted to get the upgraded um, diffusers. And then you get the sample bottles and the sample packets. So it's really a great place to start. And it's a really sick deal. Um, 160, you're getting about $300 worth of oils and the diffuser in that. So it's a great way. So I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this presentation. I hope I gave you some good information, a great place to start with essential oils. And there's so many oils, but like I said, this is a great place to start. It's like a, a base. Um, and then you can kind of branch out from there. So I guess that'll be essential oils 102 at some point. Um, so if you have any questions, please feel free to email me, call me, contact the person who invited you to this webinar. Um, if you're interested in ordering, you can go on to their website and you want to put the number on the screen in there because you want to make sure that you have um, access to me so I can answer any questions along the way. Um, my suggestion is if you are going to order it, either email me, call me, or contact the person who um, invited you to the webinar and we can walk you through the process even though it's very easy. Um, and again, I want to thank you for watching this presentation. I hope I didn't talk too fast. I hope you got some great information and I it's a great place to start with your oil journey. So have a great day, everyone.